I don't know about you, but stories of ghosts and the paranormal send shivers up my spine. But that's kind of fun, right? But do spirits or ghosts or whatever they are always have to be evil? Aren't there any friendly dead people out there? I hope so. But there are some people who not only enjoy having ghosts around, they can talk to them whenever they like. How? They've got the gift. Can you Thousands can of you children hear me? across the globe can you claim can they can, can see dead me? people. Can you hear me? Do they have an extra special sense known as the gift? Paranormal investigator Joshua P. Warren believes there could be a medical explanation for this phenomenon. A person like Faye may be capable of seeing ghosts because she has some physiological advantage in her eyeballs themselves. Could Faye's eye have powers the rest of ours don't? Warren believes her secret may be that. She sees light differently. Right now, all the data that we have indicates ghosts are more visible in the infrared realm. Some of the best ghost images I've seen have been captured using infrared technology. Could Faye be seeing ghosts that are all around us? Ghosts that most of us miss because we can't see infrared? The average person can only see a relatively narrow band of light from usually around green to red. Faye might be able to see a little bit more than the rest of us. Scientists call the range of light the visible spectrum, although most of us know it as the colors of the rainbow. But what if Faye was somehow able to literally see what the rest of us can't? In the human eye, there are two primary types of cells. You've got the rod cells and the cone cells. Rod cells are used for nighttime vision, but they can't see color. Then you have the cone cells, which respond very quickly, and they see color. If Faye has more of those rod or cone cells, especially the cones, that alone might allow her to see a broader range of colors and frequencies than the average person. Her eyes physiologically allow her to peer deeper into the infrared or ultraviolet realms. Incredibly, Warren also believes the eye might not just explain Faye's story, but also why children on average report seeing more ghosts than adults. As a person ages, the components of the eye become more and more dense. In extreme cases, they can become very cloudy and form a cataract. So the older you get, the less you're able to, to see when it comes to this band of frequencies. Children are not only able to see a wider range of frequencies, but they also should have an open mind and open awareness. They have not been structured so much yet into a belief system and into a, a task-driven day-to-day routine that gives us tunnel vision as adults. Uh, as children, they still have a wider awareness and perception of what's around them and the willingness to acknowledge honestly what they see. Could Faye and other children like her really be able to see into the infrared world of ghosts? Does she have a sixth sense? Or is Faye just a needy kid who wanted her mother's attention and approval? We may never know. Weird. Or what?